play for the sand in the shade. She parades you to swear in her shades. She like why you do that. What's going on, guys? It's King Tuts Pro, and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch another video. I know I haven't posted in a while, but uh, I hope you guys find this video helpful. So in today's video, I want to show you how to do the bug eye effect. But yeah, so uh, it's a really, really easy effect to do. You don't need any plugins. Shout out to Cole Bennett for writing, directing, and producing this video, along with the other people that put in the time and effort to put out this video. All right, so what you want to do first is drag your video in the timeline. I already did that. It's about a second long, and I have the time head moved towards the beginning. So what you want to do from this point is you want to make a uh, copy. So hold down option and click upwards to make a copy select this one right click and go to rename clip I'm gonna rename this so you guys don't get confused and I'm gonna go to the effects I'm gonna go down to masks and then I'm gonna select the vignette mask so drag that directly onto that clip select the vignette mask drag this center piece to his left center eye so you want this piece to always be on his pupil on the very very center of his eye so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into the size we're gonna make this uh, smaller, so we're going to drag this to the, towards the right uh, around 1.42, and then the fall off we're going to make this smaller. The fall off is pretty much the feathering, it's how smooth everything is going to be blended in. So I'm going to move this all the way down to 0, 0.0, maybe 3, beginning of the clip, and we're going to add a keyframe to track his eye. Very, very easy to do. So you're going to see center, and you're going to have a little plus icon. Click on this to enable it to add our first keyframe. I'm going to zoom in by going to this percentage up here and going to 150%. And I'm going to go frame by frame. I'm going to start it there. And I'm going to press right on the arrow key to move forward, making sure that this is centered just like this. And I'm going frame by frame. I'm going, I'm pre every single time I'm pressing once on the right arrow key on the keyboard. And that way, this will allow me to be very precise on the tracking. Uh, that is since there's not a lot of movement going on in this scene if your person is moving a lot You might have to do a little bit more work. It should still look really 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 good perfect So now if I just skim through you can see what it looks like. It's perfect So now I can go back to fit. I'm gonna go back to the effects now and I'm gonna go to the distortion tab I'm gonna go to the fisheye click and drag this directly onto that clip now We can disable the vignette mask so we can see what we're doing with the fisheye So now we can click and drag this making sure that this is at the beginning. It's going to look like that. Make sure that this is perfect, okay? This is the most important part of the effect. And now we can change, uh, or we can enable the vignette mask again. So click on that again to enable it. So now we can change the amount, which is the size. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna leave that to 15 actually, but you can make this bigger if you want, and then you can change the radius like, like that if you wanted to. I'm going to leave it at 15 and I'm going to move the radius to the left. Okay, and perfect. So now once we've done that, we can now keyframe. So we're pretty much done. So we can just go to the center, click this little plus icon, making sure that our time is the beginning. Zoom in and then go frame by frame by pressing once on the arrow key. So once you're done, um, you can skim through and see what it looks like. It looks just like that. It's really, really good. So now all you got to do is just do the same thing for the right eye. So click the bottom clip, hold down option and click upwards to make another copy. I'm going to rename this to uh, right eye. Okay, so now we have the left eye. I'm going to disable the left eye just for now so you guys don't get confused by pressing V. Select the middle clip and now we can apply our effects on that one as well. So go down to the masks, go to vignette mask, drag that towards the middle. Then you want to, um, if you don't remember the numbers, just click back on the top clip. So it's 1.42 and 003. You can, of course, customize this to your video. So FYI, so 0 0.03, 0 0.03, enter, perfect. I'm gonna move the time towards the beginning. I'm gonna zoom in to 150%. I'm gonna move this to the right eye now, making sure that the plate is at the beginning. Now we wanna add our keyframe by pressing the plus icon next to center and then start keyframing it by pressing right on the arrow key. So once you're getting close, it's going to just finish off like that. And now you can go back and see your progress. Looks perfect. I'm gonna go back to fits, and now I'm gonna go back to the effects. I'm gonna go to distortion. I'm gonna go to fisheye, drag that directly onto that middle clip. Now once you're at this point, you're gonna have the vignette mask above the fisheye. That's what you want. Make sure the time it is at the beginning. Disable the vignette mask, click on the fisheye, move this towards the towards the center of his eye on the right one, 
re-enable the vignette mask and then you can click back on this one to make sure that it's exactly the same so 0 0.09 0 0.09 enter and now what we can do is zoom in again to 150 percent so you can see what is happening perfect and we're going to add our keyframe next to center and then all I got to do now is just press right on the arrow key Perfect. So now if we go back, you can see what you've done. It looks really good to me. Now we can go back to fit and we can see what we have done. So now we can click on the top clip, press V to re-enable it. And if I push play, this is the bug eye effect without any plugins. So if you guys found this video helpful for your next upcoming music video, please leave a like, subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you guys don't miss out on a video like this one. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.